Oh right, so hey, what's up guys and pasted here and welcome back a new very exciting tutorial. So in this tutorial, nothing special, but you can create some paper cut look and this tutorial is uh, not a heavy tutorial and this is a pretty much easy tutorial and good tutorial. So let's take a look one by one what we are going to create after that we'll start the whole tutorial. So basically you need a uh, almond 3D to create this one because uh, I'm using Alman 3D to create this look and maybe you can create without Alman 3D but I use Alman 3D so here is a first example you can see paper cut look and here is one more new style and here is a uh, one more creativity Alright, and here is the last one. So you can see this is pretty much cool. So let's get started and put in a new folder, call this old and start a new composition 9020 by 1080 and 30 frame per second and maybe five seconds is good, but we'll go to create 10 seconds longer comp. Hit OK. Put a uh, call this paper cut. And my home is almost near the public road, so here is too much noise. So I'm so sorry for this. And call this E3D. And now create your texture. So I'm going to create a a texture. I mean your logo or your text. So let's call this text first. We'll just look at take a look for text so call this text and here we'll just type a normal letter maybe 5 just 3d is good to say and D. scale this put here and go to the paper cut folder paper cut composition and put your text comp here now let's go to the layer and auto trace and make sure you are oh, oh so wait a minute hide this one so you can see the text layer easily and just change the color of white this is our alpha layer I mean, our text is already in alpha. So, paper cut, and here I'll just go to the layer and auto trace and make sure you are not, you are using invert option because we are going to create paper look. So, make sure you are just check the invert option and hit OK. Apply a new layer. And you can just play with this setting, but this setting is good for me. So hit OK. Just disable our text layer and hide this one. And go to the Alman 3D layer, enable it, and add a effect called this Alman 3D. And I am using FX Console. You can download it from videocopilot.net at 100% free. So custom text and mask and choose the auto text, trace the text. And go to the scene setup and the magic happened here fine so you can see here and just go back and ultra is good and optimize mesh go inside the bevel option and decrease the extrusion amount just a paper look type normal extrusion and you can also play with this so this is good create a new plane and rotate it and this is our background cut background scale this one good and now go to the preset and physical material 
it's available in element 3d so you don't need any third party material so go to the physical material tab and here let's take the plane two sided plane and hide this one good so just put a flat color on our extrusion model here fine and you can change the color so i am using a white color and for our background go to the material tab and just increase the diffuse we can change it also later but hit ok and our tutorial is finished just go to the element 3d layer render setting and add a ambient occlusion and our tutorial is finished because we created paper look you can see so the tutorial is so simple and this is our paper cut look fine so here is some setting you can change 1.3 and maybe 25 this is so good for me so you can add a camera animation so our first example is finished and now let's move on this one i mean this one so you can see some layers moving so it's also so simple so go here element 3d layer i mean paper cut composition and go to the scene setup and let's create some flat plane so this is plane make sure two sided plane and just disable this and this and rotate it press r and scale this like this fine so I scale this put here and so you can create more and more and more but i am going to create three or four layers for this one so one is here and change the color duplicate the flat layer and paste sorry just drag the duplicate flat layer on our uh, slide flat plane so here and change the color maybe some colorful color fine so just press alt and drag this here make sure this is not overlapping otherwise you will face a new problem so this is good and duplicate the material and just change the color and paste this color here uh oh here good and one more This is good control d and duplicate sorry i mean right click and duplicate and go to the diffuse color and change the color maybe yellow fine and one more last copy is and just color and change the color blue is good <laughs> oh, oh we, so duplicate this one and change the color Hello. good or you can change a new color so already so purple is good so we did all these things and you can also create a box and just scale and make look like this for a nice depth but the flat plane is also good so our next step is this is our back plane is so busy and make 
select our first purple color here and go to the object mode and here the auxiliary animation and choose the one and for second choose second and third for third and fourth for fourth all right so just hit ok and let's add an animation so group one auxiliary animation and channel one so if you move this first one you can see so add a keyframe and maybe here put down zero so let's preview this one so you can see very slowly so you can do with your own choice so this is good so go to the second one and add a also keyframe here Here and put down zero and go to the C. Add a keyframe on here. Press U so you can see your all keyframe. Put down zero and here is the C. Fine. And our fourth auxiliary animation so once again press u and just add a keyframe on here and for our fourth layer we'll just add a key on y so here and just put down the value zero is zero. So let's see our animation. And you can also use F9 to easy is all keyframes, but I'm not going to do so. This is good, or you can let's check this. So here, select all these keyframes and easy, easy. Go to the graph editor, let's change one by one. Maybe this one. Fourth layer. Or first layer. Fine. So let's check the animation. This is also good. All right. let's add a normal camera movement so press A and shift P and just choose a angle do this let's preview this And go to the element 3D layer and enable our background. This is this. Then we will see our paper cut look. So this is done. And you can also collect, collect them if you want. So this is a, just a basic tutorial how I got a concept and I do some test work. So all right. So thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me i am tested and keep watching i will always put some good stuff on youtube 
Instagram, Facebook. So and recently I posted a uh, some experiment a saber and flexes. So here is a result. So you can see. last wave is flexes so follow me on instagram and subscribe my youtube channel there are a lot of alma 3d tutorial and some also some project files and good stuff so make sure you check my channel and thanks for watching video thanks for loving me i am 3d and keep watching